Well, keep it on the ground to move the chains. There is Jordan Cronkwright, outstanding running back in his second year playing at South Florida. A look at our impact players tonight. He's lightning in a bottle back there. Pressure coming, and the punt launched by Schneider. Penalty markers are thrown as Wright signals for a fair catch. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. Defense number 19. The kicker against Jordan Smith. Coach Kim. Both coming off bye weeks. Third down and two. Sands. Strong run to move the chains inside the 30-yard line. Yeah, maintain this drive. They've got a fresh set of downs at the 29 after Trayvon Sands went to the bench. Jordan McLeod with nothing downfield. Finds DeAndre Kelly in front of him, and that ball comes out loose towards the end of the play. The Owls may have it. Him in the face. Right there, missed face mask, and then he looks like he tries to pitch the ball to the running back, and the referees called it a fumble. You're right, Matt. That could have been a case for DeAndre Kelly getting called for the face mask. Chappelle the Russell punched that ball out. Of a fumble. Russo connects. He's got the first down to Jaden Blue. Not going to beat anybody. So without Raymond Davis, they fill in the hole with Tavon Rooley, the redshirt junior in his first year at Temple, playing in his sixth career game. Station nine. Gardner gets stuck. South Florida comes up with a stop. So third and eight for the Bulls. McLeod under pressure again, and down he goes. A single-digit man who was awarded that number before conference with the sack. That's what happens. You lose one of your studs, the other players have to pick it up. The NFL scouts here tonight. I saw Steve Keim, GM for the Arizona Cardinals. I'm sure there's more guys here catching a Thursday night college football game. About this run, Kelly Joyner Jr., the true freshman. Down this year. Off the play action, McLeod's going to take a deep shot, he wants it all, and it's just out of the reach of Will Cox, a turnover on downs to Temple. All season long, granted with a couple of position switches, they're going to have to lean on some backups tonight. The defense says, hey, we got your back. The pressure off the edge. Dwayne Boyles Jr. Well, Rod Carey's not going to like this, talking about owning the line of scrimmage. Mitchell Wilcox again on this third down. Third and seven, Wilcox is stacked as a wide receiver. Oh, oh, looking for Wilcox who took a shot from Sam Franklin and the flag comes flying in. To the other side. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness with targeting. Defense number 25, 15 yard penalty automatic, first down, that play is under further review. Well, we'll take a look at this. They call 25. That is just a bad call. It's four. It's on the field. I don't know. Let's see. Charles Lamartina with the call. After further review, there is no foul for targeting and no foul for unnecessary roughness. The way in. That was kind of nuts to see. Just hanging with the rock. No big deal. Swing it out to Jagger Gardner. And a sprint towards the end of the play. Gets USF is in the neutral zone. There goes Gardner, and he launches ahead of the line to gain. Gonna hand it off to Gardner. Gardner gets the sunblock. Still on his feet and bounds. Coming inside, and it down inside the five. But I still expect they probably just want to run the ball. End zone, touchdown. They find the tight end, Kenny Yaboa. We thought he'd be an impact player. Sure enough, he gets the Owls on the board first. Cover guy, he went for the big play. Coaches told us he had big play ability too. Interception, Bentley Sanders with the pick. And down he goes near the 15 yard line. First career interception for the Tampa native. This is what you're looking for in third downs if you're starting left tackles out. You don't want to be in passing situations or stuff like this happens. And a sack picked up by Arnold Evacati on at seven. Under pressure, and down he goes. He didn't stand a chance on that play. And Bentley uh, Sanders for his second consecutive big play. I also want to talk back, but it works, but they bring the blitz on the bottom here. Benny Walls is out, their leader. That's three key guys. The rest of this front getting it done, though. 
One of the single digit guys, Quincy Roche out of Maryland. Especially <laughs> when your star left tackle is out. Go inside with the screen this time to Terrence Horn, and it's taken away. There goes Sam Franklin, and he's going to take it all the way. I feel like I feel like we may have to double check that though. at Notre Dame, the Charlie Ward game. We'll go with the jet sweep here with Xavier Weaver, showing off some of the Florida speed for the Bulls. These offensive linemen playing basketball games to get a sense of what they could be at the next level as a football player. Wilcox reaching high, and he takes it inside the 15-yard line. Tight end, the impact player. We said in the open, he needs a few more targets. First red zone trip tonight for the Bulls. McLeod, end zone. It is caught. It is Bryce Miller, the walk-on. Practice on Sunday of the whole year, so up seven still, though. There's a beautiful pass to Jaden Blue. That was dropped in the bucket. On to the ball this season. Third down and five for Russo, setting up the screen. Needed the 26-yard line, and Jaden Blue has been a huge target tonight. Let's see where he ends up being spotted. And a long one against Memphis. And Will Mobley just sneaks it good inside the left upright. I'd like to rock it on. If you're into that type of thing. <laughs> Quincy Roche off the edge with sack number eight for the Owls. Of possession for South Florida tonight, but a lot of extended drives for Temple. And Russo with a strike to guess who? Jaden Blue down to the 41 in South Florida territory. He has been clutched tonight. Quarter is a good indicator of what they said they want to do coming out in the second half. And they tried to get the ball to Jaden Blue. I was impressed. Surprised me, you being from Boston, the home of Goodwill Hunting. That does surprise me. <laughs> Jagger Gardner to the perimeter. Another good run. Looked like he stepped out, but he was past the sticks. Straits, Temple is burned off seven minutes in this drive. Looking for the knockout punch. Russo to the end zone and incomplete. You see right now for the Bulls. Third down with the clock moving, and McLeod's going to take the ninth sack of the night. This time it's Levine and Roche beating up at the quarterback. A minute 10 left. The clock continues to move. Okay, let's call timeouts. Let's save as much time as possible. We'll go with the screen to Cronk right. He'll step out to save the timeout, but that was fourth down, so it's a turnover on downs. Game's over. What just happened? What are we doing? What a, what a strange sequence from Charlie Strong and Kerwin Bell down the stretch offensively. On oh, the other team just waves the white flag. That's almost what it felt like. I've never seen that before. Down 10? I mean, they're going to go to bed tonight with two timeouts. You know, like airline frequent flyer miles, sometimes those roll over. I don't think these roll over. <laughs> no, you don't You don't start the next game with five timeouts exactly. as far as That's I know. That's what I'm saying. As far as I like, know. Like, if you're trying to get, like, platinum status, I get it. But this is different. We're Completely right. different. We are full owls. With the win on the road, get their sixth win of the year. They are now bowl eligible for a sixth straight year. They've done it under three different head coaches. The Owls will be playing in December with a couple more weeks of practice.